What's up everybody? Back for another video. I noticed this morning uh, I came across a story that uh, Chrome uh, had updated uh, a version of the Chrome browser uh, that ran in Metro uh, but gave you sort of the Chrome OS type of uh, environment. So I just wanted to check it out. Now first of all I couldn't get this to work properly on the Surface Pro. Uh, I had to lower the resolution from the 1080p down to 1366 by 768 in order to get this to work properly so let's launch it up um, and as you can see it starts up uh, like the Chrome OS I haven't I don't really have much experience with Chrome OS um, first thing I expected considering it is a metro style environment I expected touch to be first-class citizen um, boy was I wrong on this one um, first off the bat this app doesn't conform to any of the Windows 8 um, gestures or anything like that so from the top or for the bottom you don't get any settings menus any uh, which is fine now if you go over here and you click settings um, there's nothing in here it's just permissions there's there's no settings for this app through the Metro stylings you've got to you've got to click on this little um, menu top right hand corner there um, let me zoom in a little closer you gotta click on that menu in the top there to get the Chrome menu so this is really just a desktop app inside of uh, Metro those of you who have tried it before already knew that um, I don't really use Chrome as the default browser so I don't really get to see uh, this environment so you could you only get this environment if you set Chrome as a default uh, browser um, so some of the things of course uh, as I pointed out I expected it to be a first-class citizen in touch it's not really so clicking on the toolbar does give you on the address bar does give you the uh, keyboard which is great I guess even though I've got a keyboard connected let's go to the to the verge um, again so you're, you're on the verge you're on a website you expect uh, touch to work it does scrolling it's a little clunky but um, less it scrolls quite well um, say you want to pinch to zoom on something it doesn't work now there's probably a way to enable it somewhere um, as a user in Windows 8 you would think pinch to zoom would work doesn't so let's tap on something again scrolling all works tapping on these things down here essentially takes you to different um, pages you can drag the tab off and it sort of works if I click if I try to click on this little so it sort of works like uh, Windows does um, multiple uh, windows you can ha you know snap it halfway again trying to use this with touch it's just it's just too difficult so go back and use it with the mouse here you can snap half screen with one and uh, half screen with the other uh, doesn't work in this resolution the strange thing about this is when I had this set up on a higher resolution it would work on the secondary monitor but for whatever reason natively on the surface it's just does not respond uh, I'll show you that in a second I'll change the resolution and, and we'll see if it if it works so what an interesting thing in here is you can come in here and you can you can go into the 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 app store or the Chrome app store whatever it's called I don't know and um, Chrome web store and you can go through and install certain applications right within um, Chrome 
So for example, you know, Evernote. I can click checking, I can I can add Evernote. And now Evernote is an application on here. And once again, pull it off and they can act as overlapping uh, windows. You can minimize it, maximize it. So by tapping and holding here, I can sort of resize them here. Let's see, pinch to zoom. No, pinch to zoom doesn't work anywhere apparently. Play a video over here. Seems to work fine. So I guess one of the interesting aspects of this is that you could actually dock it next to Windows. So on this side you've got your, your Windows desktop and uh, maybe I can run Chrome in here. So I've got Chrome running on the Windows side over here and uh, Chrome in the Metro style over there. Uh, just as a comparison with the difference um, let's go back to the Verge on both of these. So you can see the scrolling is uh, a little bit more smooth on the IE side. a little bit clunky, clunky on the chrome side of course pinch to zoom on the IE side is butter smooth yeah there's no pinch to zoom so so it's interesting you can see um, chrome OS or sort of running next to Windows running on Windows and of course you can size them make them different so as I pointed out earlier I couldn't make this work in a higher resolution let's put the surface back up to its native resolution of uh, so 1080p so now surface is back up to its native resolution and let's switch back over to Chrome and you can see immediately it is confused so it's not adjusting to the new size uh, let's close it and uh, open it back up again and see if it uh, if it fixes itself it's loading just thinking about it and no, let's try again. I mean, to be to be fair, it's uh, it is a nightly build. It's it's you know it's not the official release or, or anything. So um, you know, there's a good chance things are going to get a lot better. Okay, so here I am. Here are these touch points no longer work. So let's try with the mouse. Yeah, well, nothing works now. So, clicking down here does nothing. Uh, let's see if we can browse to a site. The Verge again. That seems to come up. Let's see if we can maximize this. No, nope, doesn't look like we can maximize. So. As you can see, it is now confused, not, whoops, I'm not sure what just happened there. So 
So now it's minimize. But I don't know how to get it back. Of course, you move your mouse too far in the corner, and you get the the, the Windows uh, start. So at this resolution, it just uh, it goes bonkers, and uh, I don't know how to make it work. But if I go back, switch my resolution. Let's use the Metro style uh, uh, settings to switch the resolution so now that I switch the resolution switching back to Chrome everything now seems to work again So surprisingly, you can do. So, uh, it looks like you can do some gestures. Not sure. That's that sort of gesture minimizes it or something. I don't know. So uh, the touch in Chrome Chrome OS is not on par with with Windows at all. And um, I suppose. Google doesn't really want to make this experience uh, as good as on the Android devices. Uh, it's a shame. It's too bad. Um, because uh, even almost a year after Windows 8 has been released, um, the only browser to really support touch um, is Internet Explorer. Um, I think Firefox is coming out with something. I haven't tried that yet. Um, but Chrome on the desktop, uh, horrible with touch. Um, not that you need touch on the desktop, but if you've got a Surface and you're using the browser, you're touching the screen. Um, Internet Explorer works great in desktop. There's really no excuse other than Google not wanting that experience to be um, very good, that they wouldn't have spent a little bit of time to enable all the touch functionality in in Chrome it really is too bad um, so there you have it there's uh, Google Chrome running Metro We're running in uh, Windows 8 um, and um, again I had to switch my resolution down in order for it to function properly um, you know it's it's the developer version it's not meant for mainstream I get it so hopefully you know if this is the way Google's gonna go here that they um, they improve it a little bit more before it's you know it's released out to to the public all right there you have it thanks for watching